I feel that uh, regulatory transparency relates to data and how do you get the numbers that you send to the regulator. I guess one good example might be uh, FinRap and CoRap is coming out of the EBA where regulators have stopped asking from data points but instead asking you to submit XBRL numbers instead where the regulators can take and slice and dice information that has been sent across to them. Another example might be uh, what's coming out from the BIS, the Bank of International Settlements, where they have just introduced a set of guidelines called the BCBS. 239, which uh, focuses a lot on data transparency. So the question then just doesn't become, what are you submitting? But it becomes, how did you get these numbers? And how do you substantiate these numbers? How do you uh, achieve data transparency? It was through uh, technology. It's through getting their data lineage from the trading systems all the way to your reporting systems and making sure there's a link in every single step of the process. And that is exactly what uh, the, the Bank of International Settlements is asking for. As for the advantages, we see that by uh, having the, uh, regulatory transparency, you understand your data, you understand what you're submitting, you're confident that you know that you're submitting accurate and timely numbers to the regulator. This information obviously is requested by the regulator and it needs to be reported to the regulator. So um, all this risk information needs to be collated, analysed and uh, before it's been sent to the regulator. Besides that, what we have found is that after collating and getting all this information into one place to be sent to the regulator, you suddenly have this warehouse of information that you can start to analyze for internal needs. You can start looking, you know, analyzing your risk ratios internally. You can do a lot more monitoring, which actually allows you to uh, to get more control over your business. You, when you have new channels to market, you're going to expect new regulations will come in. You know, if you move to mobile, you move, you move to internet banking, the regulators will come up with new regulations in order to make sure that everything is run above board. What's going to happen is that you're going to have to be able to react to all these regulations that are coming in and that's where technology comes into play. Being able to uh, deploy new compliance solutions quickly when the regulator asks for it is going to be the most important thing.